please go subscribe to the Rumble channel for Franchise Sports TV under the name FSTV22. Now, I'm using that Rumble channel for any purposes of me getting kicked off YouTube and also for more of my spicier joints. It's free as well. I have the freedom to say whatever I want to say as well. So go subscribe to FSTV22. That is Franchise Sports TV 22 on Rumble. We're cooking now. We are cooking this tainted king's legacy. Hibachi style, barbecue style, fish fry style, whatever style of cooking you desire, we're cooking now. We're cooking this nigga and his bald-headed legacy. As well as his fan base, his demented fan base. Rich Paul should have shut his mouth instead of going on Silly Gilly's podcast. Cause now you made your boss, if he wasn't already, a target for the Justice League of basketball YouTubers who speak truth. It's over for your tainted king's legacy. We will not fall for that bullshit no more. Hi. Yes. A voice kind of cracked towards the end. I was kind of running out of air. But anyways, welcome to Franchise Sports TV. Where we cook anybody who deems, in our eyes, not as good as the NBA media or the media, sports media, says to y'all. This week ain't a good week for the clutch media and the empire. But John Starks, I know people have made this video already, but we've been saying this for the longest time. I'm going to paraphrase some of it because I'm thinking of the top of my head. John Starks has said that it's hard to put LeBron James in that GOAT category due to the flip-flopping of teams. Yes, he has played on three teams, but you flip-flop every four years, it seems like. This has probably been his longest tenure, well, besides the first couple of years of Cleveland, but... He, he's catching up with his longest tenure on the team with the Lakers now. But it's hard to put somebody in the GOAT status. And they, they constantly change the teams and constantly uh, keep recruiting the best players in the league to come play with me. It's hard to do that. It's hard to put you up there. Jordan, like we said before, time and time again, Jordan only did it with, he want to list all-stars, uh, Scottie Pippen, who was a constant all-star. For much of his career, Dennis Rodman did get some All Stars. But he didn't get him with the Bulls. Horace Grant was an All Star, but I don't think he got it with the Bulls. He got it with the Magic. So what are we talking about here? That's all Jordan. That's what Jordan did it with six. Pe I mean, six people, six rings. Just, just Scottie Pippen and some good role players. LeBron James. I get Kyrie, Dwayne Wade. I can get all these people. And have done less with those people. Now I feel like singing. But anyways, John Starks is right. It's hard to put somebody who has done so much meddling among NBA teams and still fell and put them up in there with the likes of Jordan, Wilt, even Kobe. 
Yeah, I will play for two teams, but you know what? He never recruited people to go play with him. No. Nope. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Nah. And we already know about Kobe. Yeah, he played with Shaq. Shaq could have been better. But Kobe won two rings, just Paul Gasol. And some good role players in Andrew Bynum and Ron Artis. Trevor Ariza, so. And the hardest conference in the league at the time. So I don't want to hear that mumbo jumbo that you freaking coaches have been saying. But anyways, that's... All I have to say Until the next video oh.